Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. To view this video, please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. Horror fans have been in raptures over the first trailer for writer and director Robert Eggers' take on Nisferatu, 102 years after the original, already dubbing it a masterpiece. The gothic horror film, which was originally an unauthorized rip-off adaptation of Dracula back in 1922, has built in its own reputation and mythology in the intervening century. Original director F.W. Murnau's Nisferatu, A Symphony of Horror is now considered a classic example of the German Expressionist era despite its dodgy origins and low-budget approach, and made a star out of lead actor Max Schreck. Schreck's bald head, bad ears, peg-like teeth, and clawed nails have become an iconic image in cinematic history, as has the moment his vampire casts a shadow climbing the stairs. For Egger's updated version, it's IT and the crow actor Bill Skarsgård who will portray the fearsome Dracula-esque bloodsucker, barely glimpsed so far in the trailer, alongside a cast, including Lily Rose Depp, a replacement for Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, Aaron Taylor-Johnson, and Willem Dafoe. I waited 102 years for this, joked fan at Soravan in 27 as the new Nisferatu's trailer was released, while at North Dracula added, I am dying to see my Lord Nisferatu return after one century of rest. Hashtag one trending 102 years later, pointed out at Stump 40203 as fans rushed to watch the first teaser of the film, expected to be released on Christmas Day. Of course, this is not actually the first time Nisferatu has been touched since 1922, with Werner Herzog writing and directing his own version, Nisferatu the Vampire, in 1979, which starred Klaus Kinski, although that was now the best part of half a century ago. There was also E. Elias Murage's Shadow of the Vampire, released in 2000, which was a fictionalized behind-the-scenes look at the making of Nisferatu, starring John Malkovich as filmmaker Murnau and one Willem Dafoe as Max Schreck who starts to scare the crew with his take on Orlok. Fans have been tickled to see Defoe once more in a Nisferatu-themed film, although this time he plays Professor Albin Eberhardt von Franz, after successfully collaborating with Eggers on The Lighthouse in 2019. However, it seems the Northman filmmaker Eggers is very much inspired by Murnau, original screenwriter Henrik Galeen and Dracula as opposed to anything else that has come since, and that was something excited viewers can already sense. Kind of speechless. A modern remake of a classic that doesn't look absolutely awful, and treats the source material and intelligence of its potential audience with respect? Is that actually possible today? It just might be so, praised at NZ on YouTube, calling it an absolutely excellent trailer. Robert Eggers would be the ideal guy to recreate this masterpiece, in my opinion. I haven't felt this enthusiastic about a film in a very long time, chimed in at AB Hoso while at THE Larvius shared, that shot of the giant black hand encapsulating the town is epic. Robert Eggers is about to deliver a masterpiece, I already see it. Dude, I got chills when I saw that scene of the hand casting its shadow over the town, slash city. I was actually hoping we'd get a scene like that. Eggers is a genius, agreed, at Frisbeart. Others also praised the atmosphere and shadow play by Eggers calling it genuinely scary. Robert Eggers is like a filmmaker from the past, very few make films like he does nowadays. I'm really looking forward to seeing this, posted at Travis Bickle 2004. Eggers himself has also promised that his Nisferatu will deliver the terror fans are hoping for. There hasn't been an old-school gothic movie that's actually scary in a while. And I think that the majority of audiences will find this one to be the case, he told Empire Magazine. The movie's brief official synopsis from Focus Features reads, Robert Eggers' Nisferatu is a gothic tale of obsession between a haunted young woman and the terrifying vampire infatuated with her, causing untold horror in its wake. Nisferatu's trailer sees Depp's Ellen Hutter confess to Defoe's professor that her dreams grow darker as we hear the refrain, he is coming, repeated by various characters as rats flood the streets. The terror then ramps up with glimpses of a church in flames and Depp tearing her dress.